What on earth, or not, is a parsec? Alashma. Okay, so you're in the kitchen and mom asks you to pass her the parsec. Well, chances are she meant to ask for the parsley. It'd be a little hard to hand her a parsec since it's nothing more than a unit of measurement, and you couldn't exactly set an egg timer to measure one either because despite its misleading name, a parsec is not a measure of time, but a measure of distance. Well, how much distance? Well, considering we're talking in terms of space, well, you can bet it's gonna be more than, oh, say three or four feet, like a light year. As you may know, especially if you've ever timed it with a stopwatch, light travels at 186,000 miles per second. And there are 31,536,000 seconds in a year. A lot of seconds in a year. So a light year is the distance light can travel in one year. So 186,000 times 31,536,000 gives us almost six trillion miles in a light year. Trillion, six T. Yeah, a parsec is 3.26 light years or 19.2 trillion miles. Yeah, a long way. But why do we need a unit of measurement that seems so random? Aren't light years and miles enough? Do we really need to throw another unit into the mix? Well, like all things science, there's actually a pretty sensible reason for us to use parsecs when calculating interstellar distance. Well, years ago, okay, many years ago, astronomers would gaze at a star from one end of the Earth's orbit, and then they'd see that same star six months later, when Earth was on the opposite side of its orbit. Well, they realized they could get a baseline for a parallax measurement that was twice the Earth's distance to the sun. But using tried and true measuring methods, the numbers would get a tad uh, unwieldy. So they pulled the idea of a parsec out of well, their brains. Yeah, brains, we said. Brains, we're a G-rated site. In short, a parsec is the distance at which a star would show a one degree arc, uh, wrong arc, yeah, a one degree arc second shift if viewed across a baseline of one astronomical unit, i.e. the radius of the Earth's orbit. Got this diagram. Here's us, here's the sun, here's the sun on drug. Oh, uh, wait, no, different video. Uh, the distance from us to the sun, that's one AU, or one astronomical unit. So if we're on the Earth and we look at a star located here, a parallax angle measuring one arc second is formed. See that? The distance from our sun to that star, yeah, one parsec. Though unfortunately it's a little tough to look at a star that fits these parameters because, well, there aren't any. No stars are even that close, 19 trillion. Oh, snap! Yeah, and an arc second is uber tiny. So parsecs weren't really of too much use to us until telescopes were developed that could make sense of that type of very precise information. But now that that technology is available, it's a cinch to measure distances between our sun and all the other stars out there. So next time your mom asks you to hand her the parsec, well, you can tell her to go take a long trip into space and it won't even be an insult. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmook.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.